I want to thank you for joining me on the Perry Stone YouTube channel. As you know, once a week, we try to come on with a very significant short Bible study to help people understand the scripture. And one of our emphasis, of course, has always been the prophetic word, the prophetic scriptures, and how the events taking place today are paralleling events of the past. Now, there are two time frames that Christ told us that his coming and the time of his coming and the signs of his coming would be compared to. One, of course, is the days of Noah prior to the flood. As it was in the days of Noah, so will it be at the time of the coming of the Son of Man. Eating, drinking, marrying, given in marriage. They did not know until the day the flood came what was going to happen to them. Now, the second time frame, which is very interesting to me, is the days of Lot. As it was in the days of Lot, Christ said, so will it be at the time of the coming of the Son of Man. Now, to understand the days of Noah, we go to Genesis chapter 6, 7, and 8. To understand the days of Lot, we significantly go to Genesis chapter 19. The days of Lot are the following, for those of you that may not be familiar with Scripture. Abraham came out of the land of Ur to the promised land, and he brought his nephew Lot, his family, and all the herds that they had with them. Well, the land could not hold all the animals. So Lot chose to take he, his family, and his flocks and dwell in the southern part of the area, in what we call today the southern part of the Dead Sea area, where there were five cities. There was the city of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zeboim, and Zoar. Lot did not realize what when he moved into the city of Sodom, he moved into a very wicked city. Now, the scripture is going to share something with you that is so parallel to what's happening in America. It's really scary. But before I get to that, let me just mention that according to the book of Jasher, which is a religious, uh, it's, we, I call it sacred history. I, it's not inspired. But that book of Jasher is mentioned two times in the Old Testament as a book that existed in the time when the Old Testament writers were writing the history of Israel. But the book of Jasher indicates that they mistreated people that they placed men, this is, these are the men of Sodom, of course, that they would place men on, in beds in the streets and stretch them out and have relations with them. It was a very, very perverted town. They didn't take care of the poor. They didn't take care of the needy. Uh, they were haughty. There was an abundance of idleness. There was just all the, you know, I can see the youth. The Bible talks about the old and young men in the street, and they're just wandering around with nothing to do, getting in trouble all the time. But it's what I'm about to read to you that's very, very significant. Two angels in the form of men came to examine Sodom and Gomorrah and to help Lot and his family to get out before a judgment came. Now, some say the judgment was a small meteorite that hit the area. Others teach, which I agree with, it was probably an underground volcanic eruption that destroyed four of the five cities in that area, including Sodom and Gomorrah and everyone that was in it. Now, the two angels in the form of men come into Lot's house and Lot bolts the door behind him because the downtown areas had become so violent and so hateful that he knew that they had to be protected inside the home lest something could happen to these strangers. Now, what I would like to read to you is a scripture and then I want to make a comment that I made a few years back that is coming to pass and I'm going to make a prophetic comment prediction. All right. In Genesis chapter 19, but before they lay down, this was Lot and his wife and daughter, two daughters and the, the men, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom can pass the house round about old and young, all the people from every quarter and called to Lot and said, where are the men? This is Genesis 19, four and five. Where are the men which came in, into you this night? Bring them out that we may know them. And that means to know them sexually. Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, don't do this wickedness. Behold, now I have two daughters, and, and I don't want to go into that. Be offered, he offered his two daughters to them, and they said, no, that's not what we want. Now, verse 9, pay attention to this. They, the men, said to Lot, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came into sojourn, and he will needs be our judge. In other words, he's saying, don't judge us. You're a stranger in our town. You don't even belong to our city. He's talking to Lot. Don't judge us, all right? I hear people say that today. Um, for now we will deal worse with you than with them. Now, they were going to gang rape the two men, and they're basically saying to Lot, we're going to rape you. If you don't give us what we want, we will rape you. And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to breaking down the door. 
and only the assistance of two angels stood in the way between destruction and rape and death of these men that were wanting to molest these other men. This is the, uh, this is the point that I want to make, and I want to go back to a message I preached several years ago. I talked about the parallels of the days of Lot and the days of the coming of Christ. And I mentioned something. I mentioned that there was violence in the earth in Noah's day, Genesis 6, and violence had covered the earth. And in the days of Lot, the cities had become so violent that people were attacking people within the cities. And this is the statement I made a few years ago, and I hope everybody will hear it. That the day that mobs attack righteous people, the game changer has begun. What do I mean by game changer? It was a short time after that they wanted to molest these men and beat and try to beat the door of Lot's house down to get to them violently, that God said, okay, enough is enough. And the righteous got out of the city, Lot got out of the city, and a volcano erupted and destroyed four cities and totally annihilated them, killing what some archaeologists believe may be, have been up to 50 to 100,000 people in the eruption. One of my dear friends, now he is modest enough, I don't know that he will go on his Facebook page or YouTube channel or even television to say it, but several friends of mine were at the speech that the president gave. Some of you saw this on television where a U.S. senator was leaving the area and was surrounded by a mob threatening to kill him and would have done it had the police not been there surrounding him. Another, another minister friend of mine was there and as he was leaving, the mob surrounded him and thankfully he had policemen there and he said they would have killed me. They said to the preacher, now listen, this is the mob of Sodom saying to the preacher, we know who you are and we're going to rape your wife here, right here, right now. It was a frightening thing. Now, the purpose, of course, of these people is to intimidate people into silence. It's to frighten people, to scare them away. But you better hear what I'm saying and I make this prediction. For those cities who are not just protesting and burning down buildings and burning down 1,500 businesses and scaring the wits out of the people who live in them, but for those cities who are attacking and burning Bibles, for those cities and the population and these crazy people are attacking people physically. One man, just because he was a supporter of the president, got shot and murdered the other day in a city. I didn't see the, 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 the lamestream media saying a lot about that. But you hear me, the game's going to change. And when it does, you're going to have earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, taking out entire cities. How do I know that? Because as it was in the days of Lot, so it will be in the time of the coming of the Son of Man and the last sign before the city's destruction came and Lot escaped was violence to the point of threatening to rape righteous people. Ladies and gentlemen, wake up. America is there right now. If we don't get a breakthrough, if we don't have good people standing up, we're going to be in serious trouble. It's something we need to think about, and it's something we should be seriously praying about. The days of Lot and the days of Noah are here right now. Click the like button and subscribe to this channel and never miss a video by clicking the bell to get the alerts when a new video is posted. This YouTube channel is made possible by your generous donations. So to support our outreach of teaching, visit perrystone.org slash YT.